Mr. Speaker, let me now outline the major items in the ICT roadmap that based on their own timelines, the ministers have failed to complete. And are you a pluralized word, Mr. Speaker? I'm speaking to both ministers. I deal with both of them one time. Mr. Speaker, they have failed to table and promulgate the, act, the ICT Act, Mr. Speaker. They have failed to table the Data Protection Act. They have failed to amend the outdated Electronic Transaction Act. They have failed to table the proposal for the creation of the single ICT regulator. They have failed to appoint the government CIO. They have failed to complete the government ICT assessment. They have failed to complete the number portability implementation. They have failed to successfully auction 700 megahertz spectrum. They have failed to attract a new telecommunications operator, why, Mr. Speaker. Why, 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 why you didn't bring a dunce Minister of Announcement. Clearly, Mr. Speaker, Speaker, by all indications, while we have heard many announcements, the ministers have not been working, working, working. They have been dragging. They have been doing a lot of talking, 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 Mr. Speaker, and sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. As a matter of fact, Mr. Speaker, I am sure that when Minister Robinson makes his contribution to the debate tomorrow, we will no doubt hear more announcements and promises. Maybe, maybe even adjustments to his roadmap to avoid the potholes encountered in the previous year. But I say to you, Minister, in the parlance of a popular song from our era, come here, both young men. What we need now is action, not a bag of mouth. So, Mr. Speaker, it comes as no surprise. I have to speak to the Minister of Entertainment about that. It has meaning. It has meaning. It has meaning. Mr. Speaker, it comes as no surprise when one considers these glaring failures that are current standing in the World Economic Forum's Global Information Technology Report is where it is. Mr. Speaker, let me pause to emphasize the fact that this is not all about the numbers. There are many other factors, Mr. Speaker, that we need to consider. These, fact, these rankings, Mr. Speaker, are very important because many potential investors and multilateral partners use these rankings to determine the state of affairs in our economy as it relates to ICT. This, Mr. Speaker, will no doubt have an adverse effect on our economic reform plans and, of course, big ticket items like the logistic hub. Mr. Speaker, I think that as a nation, we can do better than this. True. The government, Mr. Speaker, must ensure that we do better than this. Yes. 